The future of radio. The future of radio. The future of radio. The future of radio. The future of radio is here. Funemploymentradio.com. <laughs> Are they baramones? Is that what they're called? Oh, that was terrible. I know. <laughs> That's a terrible way to introduce Thank the you, show. Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> well, not for you so much. But yeah. I just love how we're here in like one of the most beautiful places that you can possibly go to, and your first, the, the most exciting thing you've had is seeing a prostitute fight. <laughs> Yeah. That's that's it the big was amazing. thing. <laughs> oh, we've started. Okay. All right. Hello, yeah. everyone. This is Fun Employment Radio. Thank you so much for tuning in today, wherever and however you listen. It's so fantastic that you do so. Of course, we are live here five days a week on the Fun Employment Radio Network and then available via podcast all over the internet, wherever podcasts can wow, be found. You're doing it. Yeah, I was trying to, Damn, but uh, the spiel. stupid Mickey's uh, yeah. is is affecting that some. Um, we are live here right now at Levi's Lounge with yeah. everybody here. Yeah. This is so. Awesome. It is so awesome up here on the Fun Employment Radio Adventure. And uh, we've got everybody here. I've been uh, probably drinking for two days straight, but still. Uh, I think it's like three days. Yeah, but that's what you do in Alaska. (laughs) That's how that's how it works. Uh, that is that is exactly what you're supposed to be I mean, doing. That's, uh, yeah, I mean, we were at the bar, and there were a lot of other people there. Yeah. And they seemed very comfortable. Well, and that's the thing about this. You know, like I said, there's, there's all these amazing things outside of uh, Anchorage. But we're giving everybody the real Anchorage tour. Like, this yeah. is yeah. real Anchorage. The streets of Anchorage are, are definitely cold. Yes. Yeah, and, and, and harsh. And uh, we are professional alcoholics up here. That's, yeah. that's, oh, there is that's our what Gavin. You do. Yeah, we're just coming out. Oh, okay. Hi, how you doing? Oh, there you are. <laughs> Hi. Hi. All right. Well, Hi. So we should say. So we are at Gavin's house at his private, exclusive bar, Levi's Lounge. That's right. Not everybody can get here. You no. all did, so that's cool. Yeah, you made it. You that's made it past the cut. That's good. Uh, but uh, we are here now with him. So of course, we're up here not only doing our tour, and we have everybody up here, but also courage. We'll be playing tomorrow. Oh, yeah. You guys are in practice today. Uh, oh, we yeah. had practice Definitely. today. How yeah. was your practice? It was good? awesome. You yeah, know, it was good. It's always fun to get back together with these guys and, and, and play some ridiculous music. Yes. And we totally it's wrote so a new stupid. song today. We were like, Greg was stretched over, like <laughs> furrowed brow, thinking of words. And, and we're basically, we're just trying to think of different words for penis. <laughs> yeah, that's what oh, I'm, that's uh, super sweet. Which you think would be very easy, no. but then when you get down to it, there's really only a few. Yeah. And we say them so many times that you right. wear them out. Yeah, it's like, so. what are clever ways to say penis? That's how know. we write songs. We were so thinking really get... long and hard about it. Yes. Oh, yeah. Jesus, Gavin. I'll cut that out of the podcast. Right. So that's out of there. But. <laughs> so did you figure out your euphemism for it? Oh, definitely. Yeah, no, I, and I don't want to. I don't want to give anything away. We, we will be debuting a new Courage work. There With it is. The brand new yeah. song tomorrow. Tomorrow when we play at the that's at right. Vans, Vans yes. Dive Bar. Vans Dive Bar. That is where yeah. we will be. So it's funny because so I got in on Wednesday, and of course uh, we all decided to start drinking, and so we it, did that immediately. Then, yeah, yes. and we tried yeah. to have <laughs> as fast as possible. Because Stone, uh, who is also here, Stone Brooks, which uh, we'll have you come over and share a mic. <laughs> there he is. That was stone AKA in the background. Murky bong water. Yeah. So he got in on Thursday, and Gavin and I were like, "Well, we should run through some stuff on Wednesday." And we sucked. Oh my god. Bad. We were bad. like half. We were like, I was browning out during that practice. I mean, <laughs> yeah, we you, like, you guys are both kind of freaked out. You're like, I don't think that we're doing. <laughs> no, we're, we're, we're not doing really good oh, right no. now. Yeah, we were not doing very good. No, no, it was like zero to blackout in yeah. like. <laughs> Probably five hours, I'm going to guess. Yeah, basically. Yeah, yeah. That's We had a lot happened. of porch beers. We did. And we went to my, my neighborhood bar and apparently messed some stuff up there. Yeah, so here's the no, thing. So that didn't actually happen, did it? Did you? No, I don't think you? it did. I know. I'm pretty sure we didn't, but I can't be 100% so sure. So we were you know, accused. Because I can't remember everything. Because we went in there the, the next day. This was on Wednesday we went there. The next day we went in, and the guy was instantly angry at us. At like Gavin pissed. Yeah, like he's like, like Yeah, he's like walking back and forth like, yeah. you guys ruined my porch tent. Yeah. You left cigarettes <laughs> yeah. everywhere. What, I had to clean you... it up. I'm like, what? What? What are you talking about? Yeah, what are you talking about? A, didn't do that. Who's got like, a tent at a bar? I don't even know where that is. What is, is a porch tent? Like, what is he talking know. about with the porch I, I tent? I don't know. I think he made it up like, just yeah. to fuck with me or something. Uh, uh, no, he was mad. He yeah, was he real was, mad. He so was, we're already notorious. Mad. Like, one yeah. night and we're already notorious and in trouble. Yeah, basically. Yeah. And I, after this trip, I'm probably not going to go back there for a couple weeks. It is your neighborhood bar. It is definitely my neighborhood bar. Yeah. We're trying we not to shit where we eat. It was, it was A-OK okay Yeah, OK. That's good. Yeah. Well, and where we're at is maybe not the nicest part of Anchorage, uh, I no, would say. No, uh, you know, it's about equal with the rest of the city. There yeah. is a, a Cars, which is like a Safeway that's just down the street, but it's just known as Ghetto Cars. 
Yeah, because because that's what. It, and I don't I, go I there. Coming up with you uh, before, maybe like last time, and we took a taxi, and you said uh, we're going to ghetto cars, and the taxi driver was like, "Yeah, okay, I know where that is." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like the, the one time, I, I I introduced a friend to the, to the ghetto cars liquor store. We walked past a very notorious intersection on Thirteenth and Gamble. <laughs> As we're walking up to the ghetto cars, they are literally wheeling a bottle a body out of God. the liquor store. Oh, uh, you man. Know, out of the liquor store? Out of the liquor store. store. Oh, wow. Watching this happen, we're just like, ghetto cars, we walk in, no one's even talking about it. Yeah. They're just like, yeah, that'll be five ninety nine. How's your day? <laughs> <laughs> it's Tuesday. I don't know. How many people die routinely? We are making Alaska sound amazing right now. <laughs> this should go to the tourism board. Well, Absolutely. can I like, yeah. get you back on this by saying that I uh, actually witnessed a prostitute fight today? Yes. <laughs> yes. Sarah, so yeah, we should explain that. So uh, that's what we were talking about at the beginning. No, there's so, no explanation. There's no explanation. Just... <laughs> You saw it is what it sounds like. like, then. But you got a picture of it. It's up on our Instagram. We did. I got a picture. And um, so we all, like, we were sitting outside all hanging out on the patio, and we heard a kerfuffle. And we're like, what is, <laughs> what is happening? And it starts running toward the windows. And we're like, what is going on? And there's this lady <laughs> that has no pants on. She's wearing, like, <laughs> uh, the, like, her underwear. And she's being chased by some other guy who uh, might be her pimp. Okay. I don't know. And yeah, then that was your, who your is assessment? being chased who is being chased by another woman. And so they're all like screaming. <laughs> Man, it was okay. severe it workplace was dispute incredible. there. Incredible. I'm like, yeah. this is the best $10 I've ever spent. Like, actually <laughs> no, that's, that's awesome. It's like when we saw that outside of our studio in Portland, there were... Oh, the dumpster the, people. Yeah, there was a dumpster yeah. guy who had two women fighting over him. <laughs> this guy was diving in the dumpster and these two women were fighting over that dude. Oh my so God. whatever he's doing, like he's winning at life. That's, that's a he may be in a dumpster, yeah, yeah, yeah. but he's got two women fighting over him. Yeah. Still, like that's how that happens. But um, this neighborhood where we're at, and again, not not to keep talking about the bad things about Anchorage, but God, there are some entertaining things that have happened around here. And you it's were just amazing. telling me, well, yeah, they're, in they're, your neighborhood, like, and we're not besmirching your no, neighborhood. No, 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 no. no. I, like, I love this neighborhood actually, and so do like everybody that you know. We choose to live here, but yeah, but we choose to live here because there is a lot of stuff going on, <laughs> and, and it's a lot of fun to watch. I actually just sit on the porch couch and just kind of watch. Yeah. You know? Oh, by the way, Gavin has a porch couch. Uh, yeah, it's amazing. It is amazing. I wanted to work that in there. I got a porch couch. <laughs> <laughs> He's bragging right now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. pretty much. A little well, bit of Portland up in Anchorage. So um, you were just telling me beforehand about your neighbors that used to be next door. Yeah, we moved so, in here. We, we live next door to a fourplex, and there's these two guys sitting out front drinking 40s, and like basically within two seconds, I figure out they're drug dealers, and they're dealing various forms of whatever, and I, I don't really <laughs> want to know, you know. But they're nice enough, and and they're basically they're mo- they're stoned most of the time, you know. Yeah. And so like months go by, hey, yeah. not much happens, you know. There's people in and out of the house. There's giant parties and all that, but like you know whatever. Eventually, I start seeing um, pigeons flying around and landing on my roof. And I'm like, why are there pigeons flying around? And then I see them kind of doing tricks, like flipping around and stuff. And I'm like, what the hell's going on? Wait, tricky pigeons? These are trick pigeons. pigeons. Like, trick pigeons, yeah. <laughs> They're like barrel rolling and swooping and diving and all this shit. And they have these little, these little packages attached to them. And so they're, carri- they're carrier pigeons like they used to use in the war or something before radios. <laughs> and I found out that these guys are in the backyard stoned off their gourds trying to teach carrier pigeons to carry messages back and forth for some reason. <laughs> Whatever it is. Oh That's my awesome. god. So basically, they're, you know, but they weren't that good at it because they got too high all the time and they were <laughs> fucking with the pigeons. So but did you see any of the messages? I didn't see, see, I didn't look at the messages. No, I, I didn't crack their code or anything like that. I mean, yeah. I think there was all training. Anyway, I have this dog, Nugget, who apparently likes eating pigeons and eventually <laughs> got all five of them one by one. He, t- he picked them off? He, he picked, picked them off one by one, that'd, dude. That'd be tough. Over a couple months. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I don't know how he did it, but he, he definitely stalked and planned his routine, and you know he'd get one of them, bring it to the doorstep, <laughs> and then I'm like, there's these really angry-looking drug dealers asking where their <laughs> pigeons are. I'm like, you know, let's put that in the garbage. He's <laughs> like hiding, yeah, you know, hiding like, the body. I don't know, man. I, <laughs> like, <laughs> maybe they didn't, you know, maybe they didn't, they didn't come back or something. I mean, <laughs> you guys are feeding them, right? I mean, you're supposed to, you're supposed to feed them, make sure they're happy. Oh yeah. But, so it's, it's an amazing neighborhood. They don't, they don't live here anymore. Yeah. yeah. They, they were replaced by another oh, group of replaced. drug dealers who eventually <laughs> got ran out of that apartment in a drive-by shooting. That's right. I remember oh, you talking about that. Yeah. Right. There was a drive, like right next door to where right we were Right next at. door. 30-odd bullet holes. Fuzzy memories. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. yeah. But things have changed since then. My friend bought the place, cleaned it up. Now we've got some good folks there. 
hardly a drive-by shooting. I mean, the last yeah. one was like three weeks ago. Boring. Yeah, <laughs> it is kind of boring, boring right yeah. now. I'm nailing it. <laughs> <laughs> this is a great neighborhood, is what he's saying. Uh, yeah, it's an yeah. amazing neighborhood. It's close to everything, and it's it's easy to get out of town, which is what we like to do up here a lot. Yeah. So, well, yeah. I I want to go back to to that first night that we stayed. So Gavin and I went out and apparently kicked over porch tents. Um, but uh, ca- uh, we're accused of it. But oh, yeah, Sarah, you, you allegedly, allegedly, yeah. Yes. If we did it. I don't, if I, still don't I know did how it, oh, you I sound like, yeah. Yeah. Like an Physically, I don't know how you kick thing. over a tent, but um, if what I What is did, a porch guess, tent? I don't know. I'm still, it still bothers me. It's like me. a tiny. You kicked table. it over again, and yeah, you know. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. We're, we're, we're notorious now. Yeah. Um, but Sarah actually was, uh, our friend Kelsey was in town yeah. for a couple of nights, and she's a flight attendant. And she was staying over at. Uh, at the Anchorage, what is it? Like the. The Haunted Anchorage Hotel thing? The Anchorage Hotel. Anchorage Historic Anchorage Hotel. Historic Anchorage Hotel, yeah. Yeah, which, which is one of the like I guess fifty most like haunted hotels in the United States, which is crazy. But also, you did something which I find completely stupid because you, as we know, we, we did. <laughs> Thank you, Craig. It's so dumb. <laughs> no, we did Nightmare at Nibblers well, at just, my house. We recorded that a while ago. Made that, no, yes. it's. I'm sorry. It's <laughs> you. Like you know, I hate Ouija boards. Like that. That shit scares me. Like I do not like that. And you guys. So at this hotel. There is because it's so haunted. There is a specific rule. They specifically said to not like you are not allowed to have Ouija boards yeah. at this hotel. They, they have a Ouija because ban. it is yeah. So yeah. There is a Ouija, ban on Ouija ban. boards. Yeah. So of and, course, being the, the the wonderful lady that I am, <laughs> I decided to find a piece of cardboard. Uh, got like a little uh, plastic thing of, um, from actually from place oh, okay yeah All i right. kind of snapped it off that's Got fine that and then uh made a little <laughs> you stole you stole planchette. stuff to make a ouija board i did yeah. not steal anything you were stealing so things to, no that needs to everything be said is again. fine you were stealing things i love to the make way you board. presented that too you're, you're like to me and greg you're like hey you guys want to come over to the Honda hotel and, and make a ouija board you're like nope <laughs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> nope i do not want to do that knock yourself out yeah well i did yeah. and we made it <laughs> and uh it was it, it was very like Kelsey and I are both not like going to move it around, so we made the entire Ouija board. We were and, like the planchette like kept like swirling around, and it spelled something called like I think it was like Kawaka. 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 Ooh, like Kushtaka. Kawaka. No, not Kushtaka. Kushtaka. <laughs> not Kushtaka. Kushtaka, if you haven't heard, is the Otter Man. That is uh, here in Alaska, the legendary Otter Man. That's Kushtaka. not legendary. Kushtaka. Nobody Kushtaka. knows what that is. You're supposed no. to say it really quietly Kushtaka. in people's yeah, Don't ears. Do, that. do you say it like three times? Kushtaka. Kushtaka. There's a whistle, too. The Otter Man makes a whistle noise. What, what does it sound like? So it's like a low, okay. high, low. So when you hear that, you know that it's going to eat you. I'm gonna, okay, I'm going to awesome. keep that in mind. Yeah. Um, when Next time we're out in the woods and mm-hmm. I'm looking for yetis, now yeah. I have to worry about an otter. There are too. a lot of yetis up in Alaska as yeah. well. Yeah, well, yeah. I mean, that is, are that there? is an issue. Yes. Are you sure? Yes, okay. absolutely. No. It's mountain yeti territory. It's mountain also yeti sea ter- yetis. That's the thing. So down where we are, you know, we have Bigfoot, but up here it's yeti territory. Right. Yeah. Gotcha. It's, it's right on the, yeah, they're rougher, they're angrier. You know, and this time of year, like the snow's melting, which pisses them off. So they're really all riled wow. up. Yeah. yeah, they're even more pissed off yeah. than normal. Wow. Real pissed off. Which is basically all the time. Yeah. So what's it, a Kawaka? It said, well, it's called that Kawaka. So yeah, Kawaka. so your thing said Kawaka? Yeah, and uh, so like the woman who was working at the front desk, uh, Carrie, she was very lovely. And um, she was like, yep, everyone, like, come here. Everything's haunted. Everything's crazy. Do not bring a Ouija board in here. I'm like, well, fuck. I need to make a Ouija board. I need to check your bags. Yeah. Like, how yeah. much, what has happened that they had to put a ban on the Ouija boards? They did. I don't know. Like, it was, it's all there's the second three, floor. There's three apparently. very notorious, um, violent things that happened at that hotel. I don't remember all of them. One of them involved a sheriff, I think, in the 20s. The getting sheriff getting murdered stabbed and, yeah, in the stabbed alley and then the dragged alley. into the hotel. Yeah. There, there That's was, one of the ghosts. There was, like, one thing about, I think, a prostitute. That was killed there, but I might be mistaking that with another place. But anyway, there were three things that, you know. And then there's a boy. Little little boy, yeah. Yeah. Who just somehow randomly died in that hotel, I guess. Yeah, he was the uh, original owner's son. And he would run and, like, grab all the stuff from the trains to bring it back to the hotel. Right. He died an untimely death. So what Hmm. was the result of your Ouija board session? Like Kawaka. That's all we got. And then it was like, it was really freaky. And like, I just watched that movie, Veronica, which is uh, a really awesome horror movie. But it's like, it, it basically like 
definitely makes you think like you have to say goodbye to the things that okay. you're talking to. So you have so, your yeah. homemade Ouija. What did you do with home, it afterwards? We had a homemade, did you say goodbye? I threw it in a dumpster the next day. Yeah. I was going to say you have to hide the evidence. Oh we yeah, no, no, no. I took it you, out. You with don't want to walk out with that. Thing. I threw it in Ugh. a dumpster yeah. when I was leaving her house. God, fuck Ouija boards. So you mean you didn't say goodbye and burn it ritually? No, we said goodbye. Oh, should I have burned it? Yeah, I told you to draw a circle and burn it. Oh boy. Yeah. No, no, I just uh, I did it, and then I threw it in a dumpster. So you're possessed right now, is yeah. basically what you're saying. Quaka. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Quaka. Okay, you actually did scare me a little bit. There. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, it's that that is not something I would ever do. No, would it was it. I'm it glad was you fun. guys did, though, you know. Yeah. Uh, no, Kelsey, more power I, to like, you. Kelsey is, like, one of my most, like, open friends. She's like, all right, cool. Yep. I'm like, I want to I wanna do a Ouija board. She's yeah. Like, I'll do it. Cool. Well, so that was the first night. And then the next night, which was yesterday, which was Thursday, uh, that's when we went out for our bar tour, our Fun Employment Radio bar tour, which everybody here in the background was all on it. It was awesome. They're all so it was, quiet. There, I know. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Woo! There, Maybe we need some people. shots around here. We are at a I bar. I think we need a round of shots. Maybe we should have a round of shots. Round of shots. shots. Round of shots. All right, I'm all over that. Uh, okay, yep. Or Stone, do you, Stone, do you want to bartend? Stone is our amazing bartender. We do have video going right now as well. Oh. So, uh, yeah, I, I'm sorry. Was that mad? What? Did I make you mad there by not uh, by passing you over? Oh my god, these are like friends yeah, from, I'm, since I'm, they I'm were super ten years right old, right now. and now they're like trying to work out their feelings right now. <laughs> <laughs> it is true. Like Gavin and I have known each other since we were five years old. Yeah, and so I still don't know how I feel about it. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure it's the same with over there on your side. It's too. still iffy. Yeah, yeah, I'm not really sure if I like him or not. But Shifty people. Yeah, really. You know? But uh, we we always end up. Thank you, son coming up with our own things that we think are hilarious and we realize it just annoys everyone else around. We annoy people Particularly constantly. Sarah. Yes. Yeah, Who definitely yes. Really Sarah. Yes. And now all of you guys. Yeah. yeah. Apparently the guy in the bar knocking over the tent. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Porch yeah. tent guy no, definitely I, hates us. I don't make up objects oh, so to knock okay, over just to, you know, mess with people. That guy's... Yeah. Full of shit. No, that guy was a dickhead. <laughs> he was kind of a dick. He had a kind of a dickhead face too. No, yeah. his face was unlikable, and I kind yeah. of wanted to hit him. Right, yeah, you're fine. When when you when he talks, I just see a flapping penis. Oh my wow. god! Wow, it was just so flappy. really harsh. Yeah, it was so flappy. Yeah, that's what you're seeing. Mm-hmm. Well, the bar tour yesterday was was awesome. So we went to a lot of different places here in town. I feel like we got a good. A good taste of like the best bars in Portland. We were in, a Portland. Good in Anchorage. Deal. In Anchorage. Oh. <laughs> Anchorage. That's where we are. Where are we? Where are we today? I don't know. I'm gonna keep yeah. drinking this Mickey's. Who knows? Well, yeah. I don't know where I'll end up. For today. international rock stars like yourselves, you know, right. you can't be responsible for where you are at any given point in time. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't know. For sure. No, it is awesome that we're gonna be playing the Courage Show tomorrow. This, we'll talk about that here in a minute. I'm really excited about it. But yesterday, it was fun. So we have this whole group of people that are up there, uh, up here with us. And um, we're going around to the different bars. And I remember, I think it was the second one we went into. Like, Trina was there when the guy was like, uh, what, did you guys come in on a bus or something? Like, he was so pissed. He was just mad as we all rolled into the bar. Because and I've existed, got a camera going yeah. and filming it. And you know this guy's like, God damn it. Was this at Buckaroo Club? Him. Yes, Buckaroo okay, Club. Yeah. yeah, it was at Buckaroo Club. Did, was it oh a mullet God, guy? that was the angriest um, bartender to No, yeah. he wasn't a mullet Ever. guy. Okay. Yeah. I know the mullet guy over there. He's actually really funny. No, the um, woman, <laughs> she was there, and she was, like, very angry that we existed. Yeah. Like, How would you like yeah. to be known and you, as... The, and you would like to purchase things from them in an effort for them to make money. How would you like to be known as the mullet guy? That's That sucks. Like, like people are saying that. I don't know what people say, you know, for me behind my back. Like, my neighbors used to... Well, they had their own word for me. Midget. Um, uh, well, yeah, that, that could be part of it. Very Buck short. Stick, right? Yo, oh, yeah, no. Yeah. There's the guy who calls me fuckstick. He's Bitch the, blaster. It's the guy. Who, there's the guy that lives in the neighborhood. I told this story a long time. He calls ago. you fuckstick. Yeah, no. Uh, I don't think fuck he lives in the neighborhood, the but he was name. he was passing through the neighborhood, and I heard a bunch of yelling, and I walked outside to like take a look, and he just looked up at me, and he's like, uh, he, he said something like, "Go away, fuckstick," <laughs> and like just called me fuckstick, and I was so taken aback, I'm like. That was pretty good. Uh, All right, yeah. I am a fuck stick. Like, oh, goddamn. Good. Yes, sir. <laughs> like, I, I'm I not even fuck mad. right off yeah. right now. <laughs> <laughs> fuck stick. He like he just had that. He looked at me and called me a fuck stick like right away. <laughs> he committed, Greg. Yeah, no, I love it. I'm gonna call you fuck stick now. No, it's yeah, it yeah. was Please it was do. a good one. Yeah, there was that guy. Then there was the neighbor who my, my meth head neighbors who I still think oh, that guy God. had no idea what my name was. I was just. 
<laughs> all he would ever call me is fucking maggot, only it wasn't maggot. Um, and that's, I think he just thought that was my name. Maggot, like they'd be sitting around maggot. at home like, oh, you don't mean the neighbors? Oh, fucking maggot? Yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> it's like that's that's oh, all he wow. knew was my name. I remember like when those guys- called me it so many times. Those guys built some sort of like three-story illegal structure in the oh, backyard. Oh, they sure did. They and sure then did. I remember being over there once, they were blasting Pink Floyd. Yes. And like smoking a joint on top of the thing. Yeah. In, in like a folding chair no, in like, the 80s. I kind of like them at that point. Well, like, at that uh, moment. Do you remember when he was trying to uh, play music? The, he got a guitar at one oh, point and he God. was terrible. Yeah. And I remember Gavin being over and we were having some beers and we started naming his songs. Like, well, <laughs> yeah. It's like, yeah. I so forgot about like, that. This one's called Dragon's Tooth. Yeah. This one's, oh, God. This one's called When the Man Boys Cry. Like, it was like, <laughs> that, that was his sensitive, was so that was his sensitive song. Songs, yeah. Every band that, has a sensitive song. Yeah, that was his sensitive song. That yeah. was your power belt. When the Man Boys Cry. That was the power belt, yeah. <laughs> when the Man Boys Cry. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, is that the new Courage? No, yeah, that could be the new Courage song. Really yeah, the Man Boys. Or just Man Boys. Boys. Man Boys. We'll work on it. Yeah, no, we're, we're, we'll Boys work on it now. We do take commissions, so we can come up with a song. Yeah. Right? Yeah, uh, yeah, absolutely. yeah. If you pass, we'll we'll come up with a song. I'll sell out Courage so fast. Sell out in a Oh second. God, yeah. That's the beauty of Courage CourageMusic.com. Uh, you can <laughs> <laughs> like like <laughs> dot com. Uh, Great job, Greg. Thank you. Uh, but I mean, we are built to sell out. Yeah, no, like, entirely. Courage, like from day one. I day mean, one. Somebody shows up with like even a small amount of cash. <laughs> Done. Forty dollars. Yep, you're done. Yeah. Oh wait, we got a dollar. One American dollar. Got dollar. You, got dollar. you got a dollar. Yes. C- Carrie owns us now. <laughs> oh boy, we got to do what she says. Courage. She is your manager now. Yeah. <laughs> is there like attorney-client privilege or something like that? It goes with. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I know how it works. Mm, we didn't really yeah. define that, did we? No. No. God, we're idiots. Yeah, we are really. But Jesus. the yeah. show is tomorrow, and I am really, really excited for it. So yeah. I've wanted to play up here forever. We've been and talking about it for a long time. Really glad we were able to make it happen. Yeah, we have. We actually have a, a very, for the size of the city, we have a pretty vibrant little music community here. There's a lot of players and a lot of places to play, and it's pretty wide open. Um, and so because of that, once you get to know somebody, then you kind of get handed a bunch of shows. Yeah, and you try to pay that forward to find other shows for other people. Mm-hmm. Um, and we kind of got handed this one because we played <laughs> we played kind of a bad show, and they felt bad. We didn't play a bad <laughs> show. They they kind of fucked us over by making us go on at like midnight. Oh, okay. Which oh, is yeah. Terrible because we're old now and all of our friends are like looking at their watch at 9:30, you know. Like, <laughs> I don't know, Matlock's on. Well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's like in August when we happened to all be in Portland at the same time, we played our supper show. You know, that was yeah. like five o'clock. The all dinner hour. Yeah. Supper yeah. Show. It was yeah. Good supper the show. drunkest supper show I've ever played. Yeah, it was. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was. Yeah, so that's, I mean, I think that's where we're going to be taking the band, is more for uh, dinner hours. Like a dinner theater type yeah, situation. Yeah, at some point, we're yeah. going to be playing songs like Love Tank at a retirement center. And then like, announcing, oh, like, oh, lobster nice. bisque and smashing our guitars <laughs> yeah. old ladies' pre-chewed food. Yeah. Ew. Yeah. That was Ew. a gross imagery. <laughs> Bam! Really, real. Back it up, Ethel. This one goes out to Mabel. It's called yeah. Mullets and Love. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, Hal, is your pacemaker still working? <laughs> yeah. Mabel, kick him. I think he's dead. Try the chicken catch a toy. Ooh, you got the trick chair. Yeah, I do have the trick chair. Ha, 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 ha. under me. Um, no, also, behind the scenes, I'm short and my feet are dangling. They are this, so. very swingy. <laughs> he is swinging his little legs. <laughs> his little legs are just swinging to and fro. I think his voice is head like this. <laughs> hey. I know. I love, when I was down in, at uh, CES... Uh, for uh, digital trends, we did the coverage Consumer there. electronics show. Consumer electronics show. No, one of the things was the... <laughs> dot com. I, I was one of the... Yeah, dot com. <laughs> Crazy news dot com. Hashtag uh, moron. No, I had to... Uh, they Hashtag had to dishbag. get me a bunch of magazines because I was too short for the camera. <laughs> and so I had to have they a gave you a booster seat. seat like at Thanksgiving when you're oh, five? They went in a stack of yeah. eight inches of magazines and they kept adding more oh. because I was too short. Like, we got to boost this guy up. It's not working. <laughs> <laughs> That's so embarrassing. I know. That is really embarrassing. Yeah. 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 It's that's that's life. That's and then, my and then, life. And then you had to just be okay with it. Be yeah. like, hi everybody. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. Yep. Yeah, it looked really cool on that one. But <laughs> so I don't Oh I'll, my god, I, I had no idea that that yeah. happened. Yeah, that's, I had booster seats. That's embarrassing. <laughs> but that's why, you know, I'm good for traveling, I'm good for flying because I don't have to worry about any of that. Yeah, stuff. you can fit them in a small compartment. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. They used to do that in middle school. Lockers. Uh, no, I never got shoved in a locker. Oh, that's right. That My was buddy Nate. Nate did. Yeah. Yeah. Nate got shoved in a locker. Never mind. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, that's I was too squirrely. bad. Yeah. Yeah. You, you could get away. Nate. Yeah. Nah. No, Nate's not so quick. Yeah. No, yeah, he's not, not at as all. Quick as, quick he's as smaller weird. than you, kind of, too. So, yeah. Definite target for locker bait. Yeah. 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 yeah absolutely. You're very squirrely. Is that what you're I'm saying? squirrely. Yeah. I'm quick. Yeah. That's why if there was a bear, like, like when we went uh, hiking, 
I feel like I would be okay because I'd be faster than Nate. So I, I would be all right. Yeah, Wait, you just so you just, just don't want to be the last one. That's mm-hmm. that's the only rule. Yeah, yeah. what are the like rules? Throw the throw so Nate to the bear. Basically. I did throw out uh, on our show last week some statistics, which is. Uh, are, are you going to have some facts now? Well, three in ten people are eaten by bears. That's a fact. That is a fact. fact. Yeah. So we're all not going to make that it is home. Cr- that is, is correct. Is basically what three out of ten of us. Yeah, I mean, basically, three of us aren't coming home. Yeah, <laughs> a couple, <laughs> couple of you are right dead men, dead people walking right now. Don't even look outside. Yeah, absolute facts. Yeah. So, um, what would you recommend if somebody did see a bear? Do you like stare it down and challenge it? Yeah. Is that probably what you want to do? Is establish dominance right away. It's yeah. just okay. like it's like prison rules. You know, you got to kill <laughs> yeah. somebody right away or be somebody's bitch on your you first gotta day. S- scare the other bears. So you, like, oh, don't fuck with that. guy. Yeah, you want to yeah. show the forest who's who's boss. All right. So you murder the bear. Yeah, you murder the okay. fuck out of him yeah. before he murders you, or you become his bitch. Oh, that's. Ew, yeah. I don't want to do that. Those are the two choices. Those are your two choices. Yeah, unless you can run really fast, running is not recommended. Yeah, well, but I'm know. squirrely, though I can get away. I don't know. I don't think you're squirrely that's enough. Squirrely. That's a squirrely. weird phrase. Squirrely. Yeah, it does sound kind of weird. Yeah, when I say it does. It. I don't know. Especially yeah. when you say it like squirrely. I'm squirrely. I'm squirrely. I'm squirrely. Mm. I'm squirrely. Like, oh, you're not putting me in any fucking locker. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> yeah, no, don't run from the bear. Okay. Make yourself big. Make noise. Okay. Try to let the bear know that. You, you, you're bigger than it somehow. Do you talk to it? You can, hey, you can, bear. You can talk to it. I've, <laughs> I've done you, that. <laughs> don't you eat hear, me, bear. I want to hear what you would say to the bear. <laughs> don't eat me, bear. <laughs> don't eat me, bear. Hi right. there, bear. Did you have the chicken cacciatore? <laughs> 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 Did you know that it's just delish today? It is so good. Can I interest you in Shells, a Nate chicken who's cacciatore. over here? Yeah. You know. Yeah. Okay. All right. So feed it, Nate. Feed it, Nate. <laughs> That's the main yeah. thing. Generally, yes. back away slowly. You got to work on your slow back away. Yeah. While pushing Nate forward. Okay. But this this scenario sort of interprets. You know, it's, the way you have to think about it is you have to go hiking with Nate all the time. That's yeah. So that's a decision that I kind of like to become friends of the bear, though. Like because I've talked about this before. Like I want to own wild bear, animals. You, like, I mean, you, you, you want to be accepted into their culture and raised as one of them. I want to ride one. Oh, okay. Ride you want to ride a bear? Yeah, I want to ride a bear. Yeah, okay. It's so yeah. weird. Yeah, either that or a moose. Like that's that's the two things. People yeah, try to ride moose, moose all the time. Actually, yeah. it's the dumbest fucking thing you can try Wait, to do. Wait, do people actually do that? Yeah. Well, yeah. No, seriously. Like how they come up here, they get all drunk, they try to get on a moose. I mean, I've. I haven't personally seen it, but it happens. That's that seems amazing. like something Greg would yeah. do. Well, last week, some guy... Some you guy, be quiet, Moose. Fuck you, Moose. I'm just going to ride you. <laughs> last week, somebody did actually um, kick a moose to try to get them to move off the trail. I saw a report about that. Yes. This, is, this is real. And so the moose kicked him back. <laughs> Surprisingly, crushed his foot, you know, because they're big. Yeah. Uh, you just don't want to do that. I mean, if you see a moose on the trail, just let him have the trail, man. Yeah. You know? Like, don't try to ride them. No, have don't try to ride them. Have you seen a moose on a trail? Yeah. Oh, yeah. All the time. Oh, yeah. If oh my you gosh. were to try to ride them, though, I mean, how would you get up? Well, wow. I would imagine Greg you want to... Like, he's, he's fishing. For yeah, I think no, probably, I want to ride a moose. Yeah, you probably yeah. want to grab him by the ears and then cover their eyes and talk sweet nothings to him until you convince <laughs> okay. them to get down enough. Yeah. Then you get on the back in one quick motion. Yeah. Moose Swift looking great and squirrely. Today, yeah. Get up on the back of the thing, mm-hmm. and then before it even realizes, you're halfway to Albuquerque. Okay. Yeah, so I can ride the moose. You, you, you could be riding the moose. Gonna, you could I be the know. one guy yeah. that actually pulls this off. All right. You I definitely want to not it. kick him, but you could, ride, yeah, you could ride it. I could ride it. All right. Well, that's, that's I think, my goal for the rest of this trip is to yeah. try to ride a moose. Right. I think so we can make that happen. You can end up yeah. with like, some sort of Pandora-like mm-hmm. you know, net, neural net link between you and the moose. It'd be awesome. Yeah. God, it would be cool if I could do that. Yeah. No, I'm thinking about it too much. Um, so, I mean, just think of the picture, though. For, like, an album cover, for a Courage album cover. Oh, that would oh be sweet. Gosh. Riding a moose. Yeah. Or, like, Stone riding a moose. Stone would Even stone better. Would be good. Yeah. Stone needs to be riding a moose. Stone of any would of us, be the guy. Yeah. he will actually do that. Yeah. Like, the moose would hurt he us severely. He probably already has, actually, and he just hasn't told you guys. Stone You're is by right. far the most badass member of Courage. I mean, I would like to think that it's it's myself, but it's not. It it's always stone. the quiet ones. Yeah. Not. No, it's yeah. Stone. It's Stone. And the drummers. Yep. And he's both, the quiet one and the drummer. Stone, you want to add anything to that? Nope. Yep. That he was just it. tipped his glass to the <laughs> microphone. Glass. That's what Stone does. Okay. All right. Well, Murky Bongwater, right there. there <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Murky Bongwater. I've thought about like explaining courage to people is ridiculous. Oh yeah. No. <laughs> Embarrassing. <laughs> the only thing that I'm 41 years old and I put a wig on and get on stage I know. and wear tights. I, I, we never thought this would last this long. No. That we'd still be doing shows. My I, mom was actually like, I wish you'd find a more positive way to use your talent. <laughs> oh. Gavin's <laughs> mom came to a show one time. She walked out on us, man. Yeah. 
Yeah. I went on some long tirade on stage, not tirade, but I was really graphically describing I something. I think I think we were writing for a the song. Ladies. What were yeah. you graphically describing? I don't The Seven Deadly Words. Uh, oh yeah. We wrote a song about the Seven Deadly Words. Oh, yeah. You can't say it on air. It was a sing along. And we it had was a, a sing along, and we had we, we would point to each so word and get the cock audience shit, to sing fuck it. Asshole, cockshit, fuck cunt, asshole, cockshit, fuck cunt, asshole. I'm pissed and I want to see tits. Woo! You know? and and I really it. wanted, yeah. I wanted them to light up. You know, cockshit, yeah. fuck cunt, yeah. asshole. <laughs> we couldn't, you know, we weren't yeah, that seven technically deadly savvy. Words you're not supposed to say on radio. So In we, the middle of the sing along, my mom just kind of turns around. And just slowly exits stage right. <laughs> Dad's I mean, looking at me like, and I've I guess known, I'm going too. Yeah. And you I've know? known Gavin's parents, I mean, obviously since I was five. So seeing your mom there was, it scared the shit out of me. Yeah. Like I'm like, ugh. I know. She, she's she, too close to my mom coming to the show. I don't oh, want her to yeah. go. There's a, there's a certain look that moms have when they can convey a yeah. sense of disapproval that just cuts you right to the bone. Yep. Oh, yeah, the mom And that look. is what she did. She yeah. didn't say a word. She didn't even really talk about it afterwards. She just slowly walked out, and yeah. I knew, okay, well, we should probably just put that song back in the box. There's that, and then would I have to explain like what my band name is? Why I thought Spanker was funny? Like, at, like 15 years ago. Spanker's like, funny. Uh, that's, I mean, that's it's funny. Yeah. Russell Spanker, the third. It had yeah. to be a third. Well, you come from a long line of Spankers. Long line of Spankers. Oh, yeah. But over the years, I'm like, I don't want to tell him Russell Spanker. Did I change it? Like, no, I can't no, change it. No, you can't change it. Yeah, you're stuck. You're stuck, man. You're you a Spanker got, for life. You got Billy Bob Courage. That's awesome. I am the namesake of the band. Yeah, that, that's right. Was that, and I planned you. that from day one. Yeah, I didn't want to be like Dick Fuck or some <laughs> weird name you were going to come up with. Fuck Stick. Yeah, maybe Fuck Stick. Bob Fuck Stick. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's going to be your name. That's <laughs> hey. There's a Bob in the back. Of <laughs> he doesn't mean you, Bob. Sorry. <laughs> Not you, Bob. You're good. <laughs> yeah. Randy Fuckstick. There we Ran- go. We'll Randy. Go <laughs> <laughs> but the show is tomorrow. It's going to be fun, and we're excited for uh, everybody uh, here in Anchorage. It's going to be coming out. Yeah, man. It's it's, awesome. It should be a good show. We got the High Pets, yep. um, which is my band up here. We're going to be opening things com. up. Highfest.com. And then we have <laughs> Courage, music.com. And, um, and then our other, our other friend, Dave Gonzalez, who's a friend of ours from, from Independence, Oregon, yeah, actually. Yeah, randomly, it's a huge Independence show tomorrow. Yeah, he lives up here, and he's so got a band. all of you from Independence. Yeah, every band yeah. has somebody from Independence in it. Yeah, exactly. And yeah. He, so his band is called Tricky and the Get Down. Tricky is actually the name of their drummer, which okay. y- when you meet him, it'll make sense. It's like, yo, you're, you're a Tricky. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And and he's a good drummer, but like all drummers, you know they're all a little bit nuts. Yeah, anyway, yeah. so you know there's a chance yeah. they might not show Stone up. Tricky in the get down. That's an interesting. Tricky in the get down. Yeah. So they're gonna do this like they're gonna close it out. Um, probably play till two in the morning, that kind of thing. They okay. do this kind of electrified Johnny Cash type stuff. It's really good. Awesome. Oh, cool. So it's gonna be a good mix of music. I'm hoping that we get a good turnout. A lot of our friends from here are gonna come. All you guys are. You have to go. Yeah. So. <laughs> <You're> <laughs> You're a captive you audience. Have no choice. Yeah. I mean, I guess you don't have to. <laughs> it's either uh, that. <laughs> if you're at the show, though, it lessens your chance of getting eaten by a bear. So I mean, it just makes sense. It's good to be in That's a crowd. It's yeah. safety. safety. Yeah, first. it's safety yeah. in numbers. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Just be faster. Just find a Nate. Always find a Nate. Yeah, there's a Nate in every crowd. There's a Nate in every crowd. In this case, it's one. probably Stone. Oh shoot, Stone! Are you gonna get eaten by a bear? Okay. He's one okay. Of the yeah. Right. There we go. Yeah. That's possible. Well, we will try to make it to that uh, to the show tomorrow, and hopefully that uh, that still happens. As long as everybody makes it to the show, that's all we care about. Warm bodies, yeah. man. After that, you can get killed. I don't yeah. know. All right. Well, yeah. yeah Gavin doesn't care if you live or die. That's he just wants you. At it's the show. true. Gavin yeah. doesn't. Yeah. He's kind of a He's sociopath, the... but lovable. I, I'm yes. incapable of feeling. But yeah. That's okay. I smile. <laughs> <laughs> With your cold dead eyes. Uh, yep. Hey. <laughs> Look at his staring dead into Marvel eternity. Eyes. Well, I will say, Gavin, thank you for hosting us here today at Levi's Lounge. You're more than welcome. Thanks for coming to bring the show here. I'm very excited and happy that yeah. we were able to do it here at Levi's. It's gonna Lounge. be awesome, and we have an awesome group of people with us. Yeah. Like, this is really cool. Thank you so much, everybody, for coming so up right. here and hanging out with us. And, uh, and yeah, we're only halfway through. So I know. Stop. We have to know, what? We still have so much fun to have. I know. It was a lot of fun I to know, have. I know. It's very overwhelming. <laughs> 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 Don't talk about fun with Sarah. That's clear. There's no... F- yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do, you, do you need a Cape Cod? Does one of you need a Cape Cod? Somebody needs a Cape Cod. Everyone There's another Cape inside Cod. joke. Yeah. That's, All right. We'll make no sense, but we're going to say it anyway. Grab yeah. yourself a Cape Cod, bro. We should All have right. Cape Cod. All right. Well, thank you, everybody, for tuning in to Fun Employment Radio. Of course, you can follow us on Instagram, on Twitter, uh, uh, dot com, and we're posting lots, lots of videos. And uh, at the end of this, we're going to have a whole video that's going to go up, uh, just kind of showcasing a lot of what we've done. And it's been an awesome time. Oh, yeah. I'm so excited. This is really, really cool. And, uh, and yeah. still more awesomeness to come. So much more awesomeness yeah. to come. 
Uh, Although I, it is hard to top a prostitute fight. That's oh, the oh problem. Oh my god, I'm so bummed. Yeah. And I was that. worried about that. That this that could have been the highlight of the entire uh, trip. And it I was amazing. Know. We all like ran to the one of like, what is happening? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing else. That can be the one thing you can take away from Anchorage. Like, yeah, yeah. I went on a bar to saw a show or whatever. I saw a prostitute fight. Oh yeah. my god, it was, a it pantsless was incredible. prostitute yeah. fight. Yeah, well, you know, I mean, I believe in the neighborhood. There'll yeah. be something else. All right. Well, we have that to look forward to. We believe in you, Gavin. Oh, Sarah. All right. All right. All right. All right. Well, thanks, everybody, for tuning in. We will be back. Uh, are we doing tomorrow? Sometime. Oh, sometime. Sometime. Just someday. One day. With no. another episode of Fun Employment Radio. There you go. Awesome. Woo! Yay! <laughs>